In this video, I'm going to discuss basically what a domain and range of a particular function is. Now, there's different types of functions. You can have polynomial functions, logarithmic functions, trigonometric functions, exponential functions, and so on. But the definition for all of those is, is the same. Uh, you use the variables x and y. The x would generally represent the domain. You use the y to represent the, the range. And here we're going to be discussing, of course, functions involving the variables x and y. So just to make sure we understand what a function is, uh, a function by definition is such that for every x value, there's only one value of y. Okay, so for example, let's suppose I have a circle. Okay, close enough, okay? And let's suppose the radius, let's suppose the radius of this circle is 1. Okay, so from the origin and the center at the origin. So from the origin to point on the circle, that's one unit. So you can see that when x is has the value of zero here, okay, so this is a the x, this is a y-axis. So when x has the value of zero, the y value to that particular point can be one or down here negative one. Okay. So there's for that particular value of x, there's two values of y. So this is not a function. Okay, for every x, there has to be one value of y. So one way you can think of this is, is if you have the graph of the function, if a vertical line crosses the graph, okay, draw any a vertical line anywhere, crosses here and here. Or if I draw it here, the y-axis crosses the graph at two points. That tells you that for a particular value of x, there's more than one value, in this case, two values of y. This is not a function. So let's clear this. So let's suppose I draw something like this. And this would basically be, if I had the equation right here, we're not necessarily interested in how to find it. This is just explain what the domain is, okay? Uh, there's, there's other videos where I could show you how to find the domain and range if you have the actual function, okay? So for example, this, this could be the graph of say y equal, where this sometimes a y is represented by f of x to denote that it's a function, h of x, whatever. Uh, this could be the graph of 2 to the x, okay? Exponential. But for right now, we're just looking at the domain. Okay, so let's suppose this graph approaches, approaches the x-axis, but doesn't touch it. So in other words, the x-axis is a horizontal asymptote. So the graph goes down like this, keeps going forever, never touches, and then it goes up. Okay, so the domain basically is the permissible values of the variable for that particular function. Okay, so here I can say the domain for x of this one. Okay, you notice here I can go all the way over here. There's a corresponding value of y up there. I can go all the way over here to infinity. So x can be any number. And I'm going to have a corresponding value of y somewhere on this graph. Okay, so for the domain, I can say all real numbers. So I can say it in words. This that's the domain, all real numbers. In other words, x x for this function, you can plug in any number in this y equal to the x, and you're going to get a value of y. Okay, so that's one one way to say it, all real numbers. Or I can write it in interval notation, so I can. Say this then is going to go in interval notation, negative infinity to plus infinity. Okay, so for the domain, I can say it's all real numbers, or from negative infinity to infinity. You can see the range, the y value. So y value, the graph stays above the graph stays above the x-axis. So y up here, down here, is small, but it's positive over here, positive. So here I can say the range or the y value for this particular function is all positive y. Okay, so I can say it this way, or I can say the, the range is all positive numbers. Okay, all positive numbers. Or I can write it in a notation, goes from zero to infinity. Okay, there you have it. So this means the, if I put a brackets here, that means the zero is included. Okay, so again, the domain is the permissible values for x, which lead to the permissible values for y. 
and that's what we have here and like I said you can you can if you have the graph the complete graph you should be able to determine your domain and range if you don't have the graph but you have the equation of the uh, function then from the equation you you're, you're able to find the domain and the range okay uh, that's it for this video we'll see you next time thanks for watching